Good evening. Please sit down. My name is Eleanor Roosevelt, and this evening I would like to read to you from a little something I've been writing called The Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Now, you may know me as the author of this draft, and also for rejecting a string of Soviet amendments. I said, Mr. Bogmolov, I said, if you would like to draft a treaty that extends to the rights of populations of non-self-governing territories, including colonies, well, then you can jolly well do it yourself, I said. <sighs> if you're at leisure to do so, please relax, close your eyes, and enjoy this reading. Now, therefore, the General Assembly proclaims this universal declaration of human rights as a common standard of achievement for all peoples and all nations, to the end that every individual and every organ of society, keeping this declaration constantly in mind, shall strive for teaching and education to promote respect for these rights and freedoms, and by progressive measures, national and international, to secure their universal and effective recognition and observance, both among people of the member states themselves and among the peoples of territories under their jurisdiction. 1. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act toward one another in a spirit of brotherhood. 2. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration, without distinction of any kind, such as race, colour, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth, or other status. Furthermore, no distinction shall be made on the basis of political, jurisdictional, or international status of the country or territory to which a person belongs, whether it be independent, trust, non-self-governing, or under any other limit, limitation of sovereignty. 3. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security of person. 4. No one shall be held in slavery or servitude. Slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in all their forms. 5. No one shall be subjected to torture or to cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment. 6. Everyone has the right to recognition everywhere as a person before the law. 7. All are equal before the law and entitled without any discrimination to equal protection of the law. All are entitled to equal protection against any discrimination in violation of this declaration and against any incitement to such discrimination. 8. Everyone has the right to an effective remedy by the competent national tribunals for acts violating the fundamental rights granted to him by the Constitution or by law. 9. No one shall be subjected to arbitrary arrest, detention or exile. 10. Everyone is entitled to full equality to a fair and public hearing by an independent and impartial tribunal in the determination of his rights and obligations and of any criminal charge against him. 11. Everyone charged with a penal offence has the right to be presumed innocent until proved guilty according to law in a public trial at which he had all the guarantees necessary for his defence. No one shall be held guilty of any penal offence on account of any act or omission which did not constitute a penal offence under national or international law at the time when it was committed, nor shall a heavier penalty be imposed than the one that was applicable at the time of the penal offence. At the time the penal offence was committed. 12. 
No one shall be subjected to arbitrary interference with his privacy, family, home, or correspondence, nor to attack upon his honour and reputation. Everyone has the right to the protection of the law against such interference or tax. 13. Everyone has the right to freedom of movement and residence within the borders of each state. Everyone has the right to leave any country, including his own, and to return to his country. The Soviets hated that one. 14. Everyone has the right to seek and to enjoy in other countries asylum from prosecution. This right may not be invoked in the case of prosecutions genuinely arising from non-political crimes or from acts contrary to the purposes and principles of the United Nations. 15. Everyone has the right to a nationality. No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his nationality, nor denied the right to change his nationality. 16. Men and women of full age, without any limitation due to race, nationality, or religion, have the right to marry and found a family. They are entitled to equal rights as to marriage, during marriage, and at its dissolution. Marriage shall be entered into only with the free and full consent of the intending spouses. The family is a natural and fundamental group, unit, of society, and it is entitled to protection by society and the state. 17. Everyone has the right to own property alone as well as in association with others. No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his property. 18. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion. This right includes freedom to change his religion or belief and freedom either alone or or in the community with others and in public or private, to manifest his religion or belief in teaching, practice, worship, and observance. 19. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. 20. Everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly and association. No one may be compelled to belong to an association. 21. Everyone has the right to take part in the government of his country directly or through freely chosen representatives. Everyone has the right of equal access to public service in his country. The will of the people shall be the basis of the authority of government. This will shall be expressed in periodic and genuine elections, which shall be by universal and equal suffrage, and shall be held by secret vote, or by equivalent free voting procedures. 22. Everyone, as a member of society, has the right to social security, and is entitled to realisation through national effort and international cooperation in accordance with the organisation and resources of each state, of the economic, social and cultural rights, indispensable for his dignity and the free development of his personality. 23. Everyone has the right to work, to free choice of employment, to just and favourable conditions of work, and to protection against unemployment. Everyone, without discrimination, has the right to equal pay for equal work. Everyone who works has the right to just and favourable remuneration, ensuring for himself and his family an existence worthy of human dignity and supplemented, if necessary, by other means of social protection. Everyone has the right to form and join trade unions for the protection of his interests. 24. 
everyone has the right to rest and leisure, including reasonable limitations of working hours and periodic holidays with pay. 25. Everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of himself and his family, including food, clothing, housing, and medical care, and necessary social services, and the right to security in the event of unemployment, sickness, disability, widowhood, old age, or lack of livelihood in circumstances beyond his control. Motherhood and childhood are entitled to special care and assistance. All children, whether born in or out of wedlock, shall enjoy the same social protection. 26. Everyone has the right to education. Education shall be free, at least in the elementary and fundamental stage. Elementary education shall be compulsory. Stages. 26. Everyone has the right to education. Education shall be free, at least in the elementary and fundamental stages. Elementary education shall be compulsory. Technical and professional education shall be made generally available, and higher education shall be equally accessible to all on the basis of merit. Education shall be directed to the full development of the human personality and to the strengthening of respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. It shall promote understanding, tolerance, and friendship among all nations, racial or religious groups, and shall further the activities of the United Nations for the maintenance of peace. Parents have a prior right to choose the kind of education that shall be given to their children. 27. Everyone has the right freely to participate in the cultural life of the community, to enjoy the arts, and to share in scientific advancement and its benefits. Everyone has the right to the protection of the moral and material interests resulting from any scientific, literary, or artistic production of which he is the author. 28. Everyone is entitled to a social and international order in which the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration can be fully realised. Article 29. Everyone has duties to the community in which alone the free and full development of his personality is possible. In the exercise of his rights and freedoms, everyone shall be subject only to such limitations as are determined by law solely for the purpose of securing due recognition and respect for the rights and freedoms of others and of meeting the just requirements of morality, public order, and the general welfare in a democratic society. These rights and freedoms may in no case be exercised contrary to the purposes and principles of the United Nations. 30. Nothing in this declaration may be interpreted as implying for any state, group, person, the right to engage in any activity or to perform any act aimed at the destruction of any of the rights and freedoms set forth herein. How is that? Do you think that people know the remaining of the word penal? I feel like the word penal occurs quite a lot. No? Okay. Thank you for your feedback. I hope you have a very pleasant night. Good night.